I'm Deb Robeson. You may be familiar with some books I wrote with livestock expert Carol Lacarius. One is The Fleece and Fiber Source Book. The other is The Field Guide to Fleece. Corydale sheep grow one of the most versatile wools that we have. In this excursion, we'll visit the splendid Corydales grown by Jane Lyman at Lyman's Sleigh Bell Farm. I'm Jane, and my husband and I have a traditional farm, a small farm in upstate New York, and one of our main crops are lambs and sheep's wool. We have Corydale in natural color. I have a natural color ram next to me, and um, we sell the wool as comb top or as locally produced yarn. It's very soft, very squishy, has good stitch definition, and we like to think of it as an excellent breed of sheep. It's nice and calm for the most part. Corydales can be considered the first modern breed of sheep. They were bred in the 19th century in New Zealand to graze in transitional areas, not too wet, not too dry. The foundation breeds were Lincoln, and possibly some Lester Longwool, along with Merino. Corydales have been in the United States for just over a century. The wool is a clear white, even in texture, with well-defined crimp. It feels pleasantly full in the hand. Corydale takes well to spinning by any technique. The moderately long staple length means that it can be either combed or carded. The finer Corydales are great for next to skin wear. The sturdier ones may want to be outer wear, but it will never get rough. Though the surface is a little bit matte, Corydale takes dyes beautifully, and I actually spent the better part of a year doing color blending experiments just with Corydale. Regardless of the preparation technique, Corydale will give great stitch definition in knitting, whether it's color work, cables, or lace. Corydale's versatility means that it can be used for sweaters, blankets, mittens, hats, gloves, soft pillows, fingerless mitts, when you're planning a knit or crochet project with Corydale, take your swatches all the way through to washing. Otherwise, you may find that its tendency to bloom will surprise you. Corydale makes a great weaving yarn. It's a comparatively strong fiber for all of its softness, which means that it can be used as both warp and weft in balanced weaves. With the appropriate amount of twist, you could actually use it in warp-faced or weft-faced textiles. Its density, fluffiness, and tendency to bloom means that it'll give you good coverage in a warp or weft-faced weave, and it will also bind together nicely in those balanced weaves. That's all for this excursion. Thank you for joining us, and be sure to check out the other episodes in this series on the charming and versatile sheep and shepherds of the Hudson Valley.